Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. So as you guys can see from the title of the video, we have another story time. I know you guys been like, dang, this girl's starving us this month with the story times. But babe, I'm giving y'all other videos, so y'all definitely check it out. While y'all out here DMing me, asking me where's the rest of the story times, ask yourself this. Have you checked out her vlogs? Have you checked out her other videos? If you haven't, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, like I know y'all love the story times, but I feel like I give good content as a whole. You know, story times are not the only thing that's good on this channel. You feel me? And the people who watch all my videos can attest to that down below. But as you guys can see from the title of this video, this is the story. <laughs> This is the story time about how I accidentally got my manager fired. <laughs> I didn't, <laughs> you know, I think of this story, then I don't think of it, then I think of it and I don't think of it. And then I thought of it the other day and I'm like, yeah, I need to tell this story because you guys say y'all love the Ulta story times and I have quite a bit. So I decided to come and tell this story. So this is going to be a two part series because the story is not like super duper long, but I don't think I can bunch everything in one. So if you guys are new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Make sure you check out my socials. If you're not following my Instagram, be sure to follow my Instagram or whatnot. And yeah, let's get started. So, boom. so give this video a thumbs up. Just stop what you're doing right now and give this video a thumbs up. So Every time I think of this, I, I, I don't laugh. I don't find it funny. But, like, I just be like, dang. Like, I really am the reason that my manager got fired. We're going to give my manager a name. We're going to call her Brittany. We're going to give the other girl a name. We're going to call her Rose. So, I'm first going to give a description to my manager. Then, I'm going to give a description to Rose. So, my manager kind of got hired, like, my... Because I worked at... Y'all, if you guys don't know, I worked at Ulta for three years. So, my manager got hired, like the second year that I was there. I remember what manager she was because we had several different managers. I'm pretty sure she was the drugstore manager. She wasn't the prestige manager. If you guys don't know, prestige is like the high-end makeup, like the Tarte, the Too Faced. She was like the low-end manager, which is um, NYX and Morphe and those type of products, right? And she was cool. Like, she was a black girl. I think she was like, um, I think she was half black, half white. She was one of them black girls where you could tell off rip that the mom was black, okay? Like, she was very cool. She went to an HBCU. Let's say around that time, what, how old was I when I worked at Ulta? Well, I'm gonna say like, if I was 20, she was probably like 26, 27. She was like a good six years, six, seven years older than us, older than me. Um... She was cool. Like, she was one of them cool managers. I used to love working with her. Every time I would see her on the schedule, I would be happy because Britney was mad cool. She was not like a pushover, though. Like, you have to get your job done. She was one of the managers where she would just let you be. Like, I remember I used to hate working truck. Like, I used to hate working truck, y'all, because of this one manager. And I'm, I have a story time on him. Y'all just remind me about him. I have a story time on that manager. But I used to hate working truck because of him. Like, he made truck so horrible. He used to say we couldn't talk to each other we couldn't speak we could and mind you truck will literally just be us in the store no customers around no nothing just putting putting products on the shelves how come i can't speak to my co-worker if no customers are in the store like why are y'all making trucks so hard it was literally the complete opposite like whenever i remember like i used to make excuses to why i couldn't work truck because i i didn't like working it with that manager but i remember one time one of my co-workers was like girl you need to work truck and i was like no i'm not working truck with oh boy like i don't want to deal with his attitude like i don't have time for that she was like no girl like Brittany be working truck now and it's fun i was like really she was like yeah she was like like she be playing music she sometimes would bring them food like it was just a fun time like working truck was just fun with Britney everybody talking laughing having fun while putting the products on the floor so I'm, <laughs> when I heard that I'm like hey I need to <laughs> I need to work truck <laughs> I need to work truck so I'm like yeah okay yeah bet like I'm about to go work truck and see what's that about because shit ain't nothing to me than getting extra money like truck is easy money when you really think about it you don't have to deal with no customers literally all you can do is pop your headphones in your ears and just put products on the floor and that was another thing he used to say we couldn't listen to music. I'm like, bro, like, why are, like, I hate managers like that. Like, I hate managers that, like, make, make, make work is so, 
like hard and so weird. He used to be like, oh, you can't listen to music. Why can't I listen to music? I can't talk to my coworkers. I can't listen to music. You don't got no food for the big backs like me. Bitch, why would I want to work that shift? I'm not working that shift. So when I started working truck with Brittany, I began to like her more because Brittany was mad cool. Like she was the type of manager where as long as you got your shit done, like she didn't bother you. She didn't, she didn't, she didn't like antagonize you. Like she was mad cool. Um, I remember um, customers would sometimes come and complain about us. Like, you know, if they didn't like something we did, Brittany was the type where like she would defend us. And this is the thing with Brittany. Like Brittany would never defend us in front of the customer's face. Brittany would make it seem like she was going to represent the hell out of us she did that oh yeah okay thank you for telling me because she's about to be in trouble she's about to be in trouble i am so sorry for that ma'am and bitch bring me go up to us and just tell us what the lady said i'll be waiting for the trouble i'm like what's going on <laughs> what's going on and no trouble comes you know because Brittany was the type where she knew that if she didn't have that type of static and that type of energy for them type of customers the customers would get angry and like try to take it further and go to HR and go to like I know I don't know I think I told a story y'all let me know down below I think I told a story time about that before where like a customer went to go complain about me to my manager and my manager low-key defended me and then she went to go call HR and my manager and me got ridden up manager <laughs> my man <laughs> I know y'all probably watching like this bitch got her manager in trouble yeah me and my manager got ridden up my manager got ridden up for defending me and I got ridden up for the action <laughs> oh Brittany was the type where she knew like Brittany just off rip knew that that's how them customers were like she knew so whenever we used to get in trouble or like people would have an issue like you know and Brittany was always on top of it with the with the with the customers. That's Brittany. So we're gonna put Brittany over there, right? So let me give you guys an introduction to oh yeah, I think I gave y'all a description to Brittany. She was she was a light skin, she had curly hair, she was kind of plus size, and yeah, that was that. Like she wasn't like a girly girl, like she she was just there, like she wasn't like a makeup girl, like you know, she was just there. She she was cute too. Now, let me give you guys a description to Rose and let me tell y'all about Rose. So, Rose was this Hispanic girl. I'm going to say that if I was, I'm going to say that if I was 21 at that time, Rose was probably like 19. I think Rose was like two years younger than me or two years younger than me. Um, she was a very skinny Hispanic girl. She grew up in the same um, district that I grew up in, which was A-Leaf and she was she was one of them girls that would dye her hair different colors like sometimes i'll walk up clock in her hair would be red bitch i clock in her hair would be purple bitch i clocked in her hair would be black like pitch black hair was always dyed a different color and that bitch i just used to be looking at her hair waiting for it to fall out one day because i'm like ain't no way that you bleaching and dyeing this hair like this every two weeks and your hair still look the same like she had thick hair like her hair was very thick and i just used to be like you 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 god's face because ain't no way that you sitting up here bleaching that hair every two weeks and your hair still look full and healthy you know what I mean like she always was doing something different to her hair she wasn't the type of girl who wore like a full face of makeup it was only once in a while that she would come to she would come to work with like a like a real beat 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 face and it would look nice but like she wasn't that type of girl that wore makeup every day very very skinny um like flat chested no booty like just very skinny she was kind of like either my height or like a tad bit taller like I'm gonna say like me I'm five three and a half she was like five five ish five four ish right so me and rose kind of got hired around the same time i got hired and i think rose got hired like two months later right so me and her kind of became cool because when i first got hired at ulta the girls that were already hired at ulta they didn't like me like they were just they they wasn't stunting me i don't know what it is but like I don't know y'all like I really don't know what it is because sometimes I really don't be doing nothing and people still don't like me I'm like why y'all don't like little old me well baby I ain't little why y'all don't like big old me like what did I do to you <laughs> and the girls they didn't like me like none of the girls liked me none none zero zero the hero came to school zero the hero he's so cool Bitch, none of the girls liked me. When I seen Rose, it kind of gave me an opportunity to connect with somebody because I'm like, shit, like none of the girls talking to me, like, you know, I might as well, you know, connect with her, you know? Rose started off cool. Like, she started off cool. I remember uh, me and her would have the same type of 
work to do like they would give us the same type of task in the same aisle i remember when i first started working at ulta they didn't really put me on the registers as much because they were not really like you know they didn't know they didn't know whether i was good at selling products because being a cashier at ulta consists of you trying to sell the customers the credit cards it consists of you um trying to upsell their prices like trying to sell the products um I, I don't know if you guys see it at Ulta and it's Sephora. Well, I think it's mainly Ulta because I don't even think, well, Sephora. No, I don't think Sephora has it. But at Ulta, when you check out in the front, they'll put like little travel size makeups in the front. And sometimes we have to sell it. Like they would tell us, y'all got to sell this thing today. Like y'all got to get rid of it. And so like you got to basically convince the customer that they need this. This item that you don't even have. You got to convince the customer that they need it. So they didn't really know whether I was good at doing that which i was like i was the best in that store no cap ask anybody who used to work with me at ulta i was the best person i i was the highest ranking when it came to credit cards i used to sell credit cards out the ass bitch if you went in debt because you bought a credit card off me i'm sorry i was just doing my job <laughs> so <laughs> because they were not like you know too hip on me they for the first like two or three months i was literally just doing truck during store hours so i was just going to the back and just putting things on the floor loading loading new products on the shelves i would do register but it would be like if if um the the main two girls at the front registers if the line was getting really long and they needed backup then they would call me like hey come to the front we need you on the register but for the most part like I was never I never started off on the register if you get what I mean like I said before because Rose got hired after me it was the same for her she barely was on the register she was always doing truck and so me and her just started talking to each other so that's how I found out that she was from a leaf as well and I was like oh my god girl like what school do you go to now that I'm thinking about it she was still in high school so she had to have been like 17 or 18 and i had to have been like 20 19 or 20. she was still in high school i remember that she was still in high school so i asked her, i'm like what school do you go to and she just kind of looked at me and she was like girl i don't know what to tell you and i'm like what you mean you don't know what to tell me what school do you go to girl i'm not at none of them schools like she basically told me she's not at none of them a leaf schools so i'm looking at her and i'm like oh like do you go to school out the district? And she's like, no. And in my head, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to keep asking you questions. Like, just tell me what school you go to. I'm not going to do this with you. You know what I mean? So she's like, I'm in alternative school. And I'm looking at her. And mind you, like, I'm like, how could you be in alternative school? If you see Rose, like, off rip, like, she don't give that she starts mad. She don't give that she's dramatic. She don't give, like, bad vibes. Like, she she just, she don't give good vibes. Like, you, you're you not going to look at Rose and be like, oh, my gosh, she's goody two-shoes. No, she don't give good vibes. She just give me that she's just there. She gives me that she just stays out the way, get her stuff done, and keeps it pushing. Like, she don't give bad vibes. So, when she told me she was at alternative school, I'm thinking, what the fuck did you do? Did you steal someone pencil? Like, what did you do? Like, what are you doing? Like, why are you at alternative? school she's like well they said that i got into a fight and like she's not taking no responsibility she just keeps saying they said he said they said that i got into a fight and then i had brought a weapon up to the school and then they were saying that i had set the trash can on fire bitch when she look look at me look at me bitch i didn't already drop something thinking about it bitch when she mind you we, we were <laughs> i remember this day so vividly i don't and y'all do not quote me i don't remember all what she said but i remember her saying something about bringing a weapon in the school and something about the trash can being set on fire i don't know but bitch we were close like i'm gonna say if i was here she was here bitch when she said that bitch i bitch i moved away because bitch you're not gonna set me on fire next bitch hell nah get away from me as a matter of fact go do truck in another aisle because i don't want to be near you no more rose rose so when she told me that i was like like legit y'all i moved because i'm like huh, the fuck <laughs> not right here partner not right. Not here, partner. <laughs> Not around here. Not around here. <laughs> Not right. Not right. Here. So I'm like, hell no, nah, bitch. You're not finna set me on fire next, bitch. I, bitch, I almost went to the front and and asked the GM, what, did y'all do a background check on this hoe? Cause this hoe is a criminal. Like I don't even know how she got hired. But then I had to think about it. Ulta hires criminals. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but like. 
Ulta hires criminals depending on how, like if it's not too bad they'll hire you because I remember it was some girls that had a criminal background that we used to work with but it was like minor shit like um DV like they hit their niggas and stuff like that like it was minor shit but bitch this shit not minor bitch this shit is epic and my only thought process was she probably didn't get charged with this shit because she's a minor. You know what I mean? But, like, after she told me that, y'all, like, I don't play about stuff like that. Like, I just kind of just knew she was a problem. I don't know what it was, but, like, I just had a feeling that she was a problem. And I had a feeling that she had a habit of not taking responsibility for her actions. She never admitted to anything. She just kept saying, they said, they said, they said. Like, she just kept, like, putting the blame on everybody. She didn't tell the story fully. Like, she was cutting the story up in bits and pieces. You could tell she was lying. Like, she, like, you could just tell. Like, from that little conversation I had with her, something just told me, like, just tread lightly with her. Like, keep it cool with her. Talk to her here and there. Say hi to her here and there. But don't really, like, don't chop it up with her for real because this girl is a problem, you know so as the months went on like i told y'all before they begin to put us on the registers because they're like okay these girls have been working here for like two months now and and you know what i kind of exaggerated it because in the beginning i said that she got hired two months after me now that i really think about it she didn't get hired two months after me she got hired like three weeks after me like she got hired very quick i remember her, me and her working together like very quick or whatnot so they end up putting both of us on the registers and figuring out that both of us was actually really good on the registers. Like, just as good as I was on the registers. Uh, what's this girl name? What's this, uh, what's this little girl name? Rose was good too. But bitch, Rose wasn't me. Like, so even though Rose was good, she wasn't better than me. I'm just keeping it a bean with you. You know what I mean? Rose wasn't better than me, but she was pretty good too. Like, she used to get credit cards just like how I used to as well not as much as me but she used to get them and how my managers used to do is at the ending of every I think it was at the ending of every week they will calculate how like who got the most credit cards and I would damn near always be at the top it would either be me or there was this other girl that I was friends with um we're gonna just name her I told a story time about her before but I don't remember her name I'm gonna just say my friend I'm gonna call her my friend because I don't remember the name I gave her it was either always me or my friend that had top credit cards every week and then everybody else will fall in so it will either be my name my friend and everyone else's will fall every everyone else's name will fall in or it will be my friend's name my name and everyone else's will fall in but throughout the process of everyone else's falling in rose name was always like third or fourth just like she was always like right behind us right and nobody really talked about it like nobody really talked about it except for the manager like the managers will come every week and he will tell us he will be like okay irene so you were number one this week i'm very proud of you i'm gonna need you to do like he'll just give more like you know um which what's what's that thing called like, for um advice on how to continue to be up there he will be like what i would want you to do is i will want you to do a b c d ask the managers in this manner da, 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 this is that right uh, so i just knew how to talk like i just knew how to sell a credit card you feel me it's not like i was in competition with anybody at the job it's not like bitch i was just selling i was just i was just talking like i was just getting people to buy what i was trying to put down you feel me so he came up to me one time which is my manager this is the gm y'all and he tells me hey um i have two positions for uh, a promotion to be lead cashier now lead cashier was like rising your money up by like three dollars and i'm like oh baby yes i need that and also lead cashier was like um what else was lead cashier lead cashier was rising your minimum wage up by three dollars and you also had different perks so like when you were lead cashier you wouldn't have to call the manager over for every little thing at the cash register because you're a lead cashier you will have the authorization to do certain things that regular cashiers couldn't do it made your job very easier you got to train the ladies the new people who just came to the job you would train them you just got better perks when it came to being lead cashier and most importantly bitch you got a promotion so he told me he was like I low-key want to make you the lead cashier he said but I want to see for a month I want to see who's going to be the lead cashier he said I'm telling everybody about it all the girls he said I'm telling everyone about it he said but I definitely want to make you the lead cashier because you're really good he said but that don't mean that your spot can't be taken like he was basically letting me know like I'm planning on making you the lead cashier but your spot could be taken if you if you don't have the most 
uh, what you would call it, credit cards this month. He said, so keep that in mind. He told everyone that, like he told everyone about the position. He said that he's taken, I think, two people. And y'all, when that shit started, I started to see bitches act mad weird. Like, I remember he told us, he was like, um, so because you guys are lead cashiers, no, this is what he told all of us. He said, even though you guys are not lead cashiers yet, he said, I want you guys for this whole month to act like one. He said, so if you see somebody doing something that they might, they shouldn't be doing, let them know. If somebody needs help with something on the register, help them. Like she, he said, I want to see who takes initiative. He said, it's not just about credit cards. Like I want to see who is eligible to be in this position. So we were just like, okay, cool. Mind you, in my head, like, I'm not going to do all that. Like, I'm not going to see uh, Becky on her phone and be like, Becky, get off your phone. Like, I'm not going to do all that, especially for a position that I'm not even in as is. And then on top of that, because I did end up becoming lead cashier later on. When I was lead cashier, I still wasn't going to do all that. Like, I'm not going to tell people what to do, especially if I'm not a manager. Like, if I'm not a manager, I'm not going to tell people what to do unless, like, they ask for help. I'm not going to be like, oh, get off your phone. Like, I'm not going to do all that. But I don't know who these girls thought they were, but they thought they could do it to me. I remember one time I was on my phone and it wasn't Rose, but one of these girls was like, oh, yeah, like, could you please get off your phone? Bitch, I looked at her like mind you I had the phone in my hand bitch I looked at her <laughs> and she looked at me and I looked back at her and she looked at me and I looked back at her but he looks at me and I look at him she looked away then bitch I went back on my phone because who are you talking to who are you talking to I'm like uh-uh baby I know that the manager told you to act like you a lead cashier but babe you should have known who to act like that towards like I kid you not y'all the girls became ruthless like it, everything was a competition I remember Rose would like, when I would get credit cards, she would me mug me, y'all. She would me mug me. Like, I remember, because, like, it would be me on the register, Rose would be next to me, and then a, a customer would be in my lane, and I'll be like, um, oh, yeah, do you want this credit card, da 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 and the customer would get the credit card, and I would literally see Rose looking at me, and she'd be like, like, make it, like, rolling her eyes at me. And I just used to be thinking, like, babe, I'm not them bitches at the school that you fought with. I would really, like... I would really whoop your ass, you feel me? And the fact that you already told me that you like to set people and set things on fire, bitch, I'm not even pausing when it comes. It's no hesitation to whooping your ass. Like, it's just gonna come off rip. So don't look this way. Like, she just became mad weird. She would make little subliminal co uh, comments towards me when I would get credit cards. She would make subliminal comments towards my friend when she would get credit cards. She would just make little remarks like, oh, if that customer came to my land, I would have got the credit card. I called her next. Because you know how sometimes when you work at uh, um, not even work you know when you're shopping at a at like a retail store and then two people are in the register and two of the customers leave at the same time and two of the girls at the same time be like next guest like the customer just goes to who they want to go to first she will and I will just so happy to get the customer that wanted the credit card she will make comments like oh that would have been my credit card if, if that because that customer was supposed to come to me but she came to you and I will look at her like Clap for yourself. I don't care. Babe, like, I know we all want this, like, position, but don't, don't do weird shit to get it. And me and my friend, we always stay true to ourselves. Like, we never did weird shit to get to that position. We never was backdooring anybody to get to that position. Wasn't telling anyone what to do with themselves to get to that position. We just maintained true to ourselves and kept, and got our credit cards. It wasn't even just Rose. It was this other girl, uh, that, that was, that was doing the absolute most. Like, she was literally doing a lot. She would try to tell people what to do do the, the main person who I told you that told me to get off my phone after she told me to get off my phone and I looked at her upside that head of hers she never told me that shit again but she would go tell like other people what to do like she'll be like oh can you do this oh this this and that like it was bad annoying and for that whole month I begin to dislike like not all of them but I did I begin to dislike a good chunk of them they were doing too much and mind you 
the girls that was doing the most was the ones that was always ranked the lowest when it came to credit cards. I'm like, babe, like, you're not going to get that position. Like, I'm not saying I'm going to get it, but you're definitely not going to get it. You are safe. You are good. You can calm down. So it was just weird. Like, the energy was mad weird at the register for that whole month. People were not talking to each other no more. People were just me mugging each other. Like, it was just mad weird. Me and my friend, we were still cool with each other. Like, we still was talking. We didn't let that credit card shit get in the way of our friendship. Like, we were still, like, kicking it up, chopping it up. And bitch, guess what? Y'all, what? Guess who got the promotion? <laughs> me and my twin. Me and my friend got the promotion. And when we got that promotion, them bitches was me mugging the hell out of us. And I remember Rose making a comment about it. I don't know what she said, but people told me that Rose made a comment saying that we didn't deserve that position. The only reason why we got that position is because we get the most credit cards, but we're not good lead cashiers. We do not know how to lead the registers throughout the month. We weren't, we weren't telling people what to do. Bitch, that's not my job. And look at y'all now. And that's the reason why I wasn't going to do it to begin with. Because the people that was telling everybody what to do, still in the same predicament. Still didn't get no promotion. The people that weren't telling people what to do and was just minding their business and getting their little credit cards, we got our promotion. Like, what are you talking about? Like, no, I'm not telling people what to do. Like, especially if I'm not a manager. I'm not telling people what to do. But after that, I completely stopped talking to Rose. Like, me and my friend, we both just told each other, yeah, Rose is weird. Like, my friend never liked Rose. That's the funny thing. Like, my friend never cared for Rose. But the reason why I didn't really let her not liking Rose, like, influence me in the beginning is because the bitch didn't like me in the beginning either. So, I was just thinking in my head, bitch, you didn't like me either when I first started working. So, I don't care that you don't like this girl but as time went on i began to peep okay i see why she don't like rose like rose is low-key weird so as time goes on now like me and my friend we are in the you know the the uh lead cashier position we didn't already got our um our raise we already make it good money you feel me good money back then <laughs> you feel me um yeah, like, we're just chilling. Like, life is good, you know? We got authorizations and all these different type of things. So, I remember there were times where, where, where I was working on a register with Rose. And Rose would be like, um, I need an authorization for X amount of money. And I'll be like, I got it. Because she would get on, like, the headset and try to ask the manager. But because I was a lead cashier, I, there were certain authorizations that I could do for her. That she didn't need to call the manager all the way from the floor to the front to come and do it. And I remember, like, when I would, like, say, I got it. I got you. She would, like, me mug me. Like, she'll be like, so, bitch, I stopped helping her. I stopped helping completely completely i stopped helping her i stopped and she did not ask for me to help her at all and i remember the manager would come to the front and be like irene why didn't you do it and i would just make up a lie like oh i was busy with another customer i couldn't get to her but in actuality it had nothing to do with me being busy it was just i knew this bitch felt some type of way that she didn't get the position and she was taking it out on me and it was mad weird like she was just mad weird like and because she did not get that role her work skill just went completely downhill y'all she just became very lazy i remember she would call out days i remember she would call certain people throughout the week and try to get like off the schedule i would hear little things her making little comments again about how me and my friend didn't deserve the position we're in and all this hoo hoo rah rah bullshit so now let's bring britney back into the story right so i begin to notice we were working with britney more before I got the lead cashier position, I wasn't really working with Brittany like that. Like, I would work with her here and there. Um, I would ask, if I ask, like, Ulta was the type where if you ask, can I do truck? They'll let you go do truck because they needed as much girls as possible on truck. And then on top of that, we used to do truck at midnight. So a lot of people did not want to come to work at night. We used to do truck legit from, like, 10 p.m. to, no, we used to do truck from 9 p.m. to, like, three or four in the morning and a lot of people did not like that shift you know what i mean if you go up to the manager and be like hey can you put me on truck this week they'll put you on truck because they need the girls so th that was like really the only critical time that i was working with britney but like i said in the beginning of the story working with britney was fun so i remember um britney started working with us a lot more like she was working a lot of our shifts and like i said britney was working a lot of our shifts and rose was working a lot of our shifts as well so 
Britney was cool. Like, being the lead cashier with Britney was mad cool. The vibes were there, you know. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I became a little lazy. I'm not going to hold y'all. Because when you have a manager that is, like, mad cool, when you have a manager that, like, lets you low-key get away with anything, sometimes you tend to get out of hand. And I'm not going to lie. I started getting out of hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, bitch, I started slipping and sliding. Bitch, I thought I was a water park. Like, I started getting out of hand. I just started being on my phone too much. There will be times where I will leave the register and it will be customers sitting in the front of the line like, where's the where's the cashier? Now, bitch, I'll leave the red. Bitch, I used to go to Walgreens during my breaks and I used to buy snacks. I used to buy chips and candy and shit. Bitch, I'll leave the register, go to the back and eat my candy. <laughs> She and Brittany would get on the headset like Irene where are you like there's customers that need to check out and bitch I'll be you know when you talking with food I'll be like I'm coming bitch my big ass bitch, <laughs> I did not care you know what I mean and, and because like I said Brittany was cool she didn't really address me and like I said before, Rose was mad that she didn't get the position that I was in. So Rose wasn't doing good either. Rose was doing terrible, y'all. Like, I remember there would be times where I would call because there were because I like I said I was lead cashier so I became like the primary cashier like every time I clocked into work I knew that I was a cashier I knew I wasn't doing nothing on the floor like I knew I was going to be a cashier for that day the whole entire shift you know what I mean so there would be times where the line would get a little too long and I would have to call Rose for backup like hey Rose could you come to the front I need backup this bitch will ignore me y'all y'all this bitch will ignore me I'm talking about Five minutes that went by, all the customers in the front me mugging me. And I'm looking like, why y'all me mugging me, bitches? Y'all need to be me mugging that little Hispanic girl that's on the floor acting like she working, but she not really working for real. Me mugging me for? Like, this girl will legit ignore. And I will just be like, bro, like, what is this girl doing? And I will see her, like, from afar. Like, I will see her across the room. She has her headsets in. And I'm like, so why is she not, like answering and so i would say Brittany, like she's not coming up to the front and the line is getting long and Brittany will go up to her and talk to her and be like like you know like what are you doing like what like this girl asked for backup and she would say stuff like oh my headset wasn't on so my question to you is why would you put your headset around your ear just to have it off you're doing it on purpose you feel me and but you're taking your anger out on the wrong person just take your anger out on the manager you taking your anger out on me okay or take your anger out on yourself that you didn't get enough credit cards do that take your anger out on the fact that you was acting like you was a manager and never got the position do that but bitch, don't take your anger out on me to the point where you feel like you don't have to help me. And customers are me mugging the hell out of me, y'all. Like, they're literally standing in line like... And I hate when customers me mug me. Like, I hate when customers do that. Even when I'm at Ulta and the line is long and I see one little girl up there at the registers, I try my best not to direct my anger towards her. Because I know it has nothing to do with the girl up there at the registers and everything to do with everyone on the floor that's acting like she don't need help. So Brittany will tell her, Irene needs help. You need to go to the front and, you know, you need to help her. And she will go. I knew she was doing it on purpose because when she would come to the front, she wouldn't apologize for what she did. She would have like a little attitude. She'll come to the front. She'd check people out. As soon as the line gets like to three people, she'll leave again. Like she'll leave me. I'm just looking at her like... I understand that you got the line down, but like three people is still a lot at Ulta because before you know it, five people could come to the line and now we're back at eight people. So why would you leave me here with only three people? Like you need to leave when I when we clear out the whole entire line, not just when you get it down to like three, four people, then you just leave and go back on the floor. Like she was just mad weird. Like y'all, she had an attitude out the ass and it was so annoying dealing with her. Like she was so annoying. I stopped talking to her completely. Remember, I would literally only say hi and bye to her. I remember there was times where she did truck and oh my goodness, let me tell you what she did. She did truck and she basically, um, 
I'm gonna say that at the end. That That's for the ending of the story. That's not for right now. So I remember one time Brittany had a long conversation with me. She basically told me that I was slacking and she's like, girl, look, she's like, Irene, she's like, I love working with you. You're a good worker. She's like, but you get carried away sometimes. She was like, I told you to do ABCD. You didn't do it. She was like, you cannot leave the register, especially when you're the only girl on the register and especially because of the fact that you're a lead cashier. She's like, you can't just leave the register and go to the back and eat and bitch when she was telling me that bitch I was scratching my head because I knew all of this but I still did it <laughs> and she's just talking to me like she's just telling and mind you like I said before Brittany is a black girl she went to an HBCU so she had a little bit of you know like she had bass in her voice like she didn't talk to me like a regular like a she didn't talk to me like like in a professional manner like I said we were all cool with Brittany so Brittany used to talk to us like she was our homegirl. You know what I mean? Like she was like, girl, you know your ass can't. Like she used to talk to me like that. So she's like, girl, you know your ass can't go to the back to go eat some food. She was like, you know your ass can't do that. And you know, I'm just scratching my head and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> my bad, Brittany, you know. <laughs> Bitch, I got carried away. <laughs> you know, you be making these shifts so fun. Bitch, I be forgetting I'm at work for real. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, when the manager make the shift so like cool, you be forgetting you at work like bitch I be getting carried away it's your fault not mine you know I'm just telling her sorry and I'm just laughing about it because I'm like damn like she finally caught on to my bullshit so I stopped doing it like I stopped doing it and she also told me that she's stressed and I'm like why are you stressed and she's like girl these bitches don't want to work like she said it just like that y'all she's like these bitches don't want to work and I said Brittany are you adding me to the mix and she was laughing and she was like no like she was like I'm not talking about you she said you actually work she said you just get carried away sometimes like leaving the registers and being on your phone she was like but you actually get your job done like she was like you sell the credit cards you sell the things that in the front like she's like you get shit done she was like but these other girls she said they don't get shit done and you know me I'm messy I'm like who and she's like I'm not gonna say no name she's like cuz I'm not trying to be messy or nothing and she was like and granted I know you would not go back and tell them she said but you know I'm not sure I'm not trying to be like you know messy and I don't want it to get back to no nobody she said but like it's some people in this job in this store that's not doing their job and She's like, I'm run, I'm, I'm beginning to get upset. And I knew off rip, y'all, that she was talking about Rose. Because like I said before, when Rose did not get that leadership position, she just started doing anything. Like, she did not care to work anymore, y'all. Like, she was just... I remember there would be times I would literally be, like, working on the registers, and I would see her literally across the room low-key shopping. You can tell when you work at Ulta for a good amount of time, you can tell when the coworkers, when your coworkers are shopping on the floor like you could tell like it's a certain way that they pick up the item and they look at it like you could just tell like oh yeah she's shopping and I would literally see her doing that and I would just be like what is she doing over there so when I told Brittany that it was Rose like I said Brittany didn't entertain my comment because she did not want it like to get messy so she just kept quiet she was just like I'm just running out of patience she said that's all it is she said she told me she was like Irene like she was like you my home girl like me you are cool she was like I know like she was like I know you cool and stuff she was like so you know I know I can tell you like you know to get back in line and you get back in line she was like but it's looking like some of these girls do not want to get back in line and I told her I'm like just, you know, just tell them how you tell me. Like, how you told me. Girl, you know your ass can't go to the back and go get some chips and da 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 and ABCD. Tell them the same way. Like, you know, we're all cool with each other. Like I said, Brittany was cool with all of us, y'all. Let me emphasize that. Brittany was cool with all of us. Not one person did she have beef with. She just felt like some people just was not doing their job. And I knew she was talking about Rose. Let's fast forward to like about a week or two later, right? I'm on the registers. I'm checking people out. And I see Rose come to the front very angrily, y'all. Like, I'm talking about she walked to the front angry as hell. When I say angry, like, this girl was red. Like, she, like, she was pissed, y'all. And she starts getting ready to clock out and go home. My schedules kind of remain the same each week. It will only be certain weeks where our schedules will kind of change up a little bit. But for the most part, our schedules kind of remain the same. So I knew that it wasn't time for Rose to go home, you know? So when I seen her clocking out, I'm like, you good? And she just ignored me. Like, she completely stopped talking to me. 
I didn't care to talk to her no more after I asked her was she good and she ignored me. Like I said, I wasn't really too fond of Rose, so I didn't really care why she was mad. When she ignored me, I just didn't ask her again. And she ends up, um, uh, whatchamacallit, getting one of the other, um, not managers. It was this salon manager that, you know, if you work at Ulta, you cannot leave the store without getting a checkout. And basically what a checkout is, is the manager has to go through your purse First of all, you couldn't even bring no like regular purses to Ulta. You had to bring clear bags. If you worked at Ulta, you had to have clear bags. And the manager basically has to go through that bag. The manager has to pat you down. And if you leave Ulta without getting a pat down, you can get fired. Like that's how serious they were. Because people, y'all, people used to be stealing. Like believe it or not, the girlies that worked at Ulta used to be stealing from the company. So they were very strict about that. So one of the salon managers pat her down and then she just left like she banged the door open and she left and literally right after she left out i see britney coming up to the front and britney looked mad too and so i'm like are y'all good like what happened and britney ignores me like she doesn't talk to me she doesn't say anything to me and i'm just like what's going on you know what i mean one of the other girls in the front come up to me and she tells me what happened so basically I'm guessing that Brittany went and told Rose about herself, about how the fact that she was not working because she wasn't, about how she wasn't working and she was just doing her own little thing. And I don't know, at this time, I did not know what Brittany said to Rose because I hadn't talked to Brittany yet. But Brittany made a comment to Rose that made Rose very angry and Rose just decided to go home. So I'm like thinking, what did Britney say to Rose for, for Rose to go home? Cause Rose was angry y'all. Like when I say angry, like she was angry. I'm thinking to myself, like what did Britney tell Rose for, for this whole situation to happen? And then Rose goes home, like what happened, right? So I'm trying to get Ro I'm trying to get Britney's attention throughout the shift, but like they were busy that day. Like I remember it was more people on the floor than in the line trying to check out. Like a lot of people needed color matches, a lot of people need help finding products. So Britney was very busy. Like every time I would see her coming up to the front, a customer would drag her to the back. So I couldn't really talk to Britney, but I could just tell that Britney was angry. Like just as angry as Rose was, I could tell Britney was angry as well. And I'm just thinking to myself, what the hell happened? Like what happened? And y'all, we're gonna stop the story time here. And I know some of y'all like, girl, what do you mean we're gonna stop the story time here? We're gonna stop the story time here, y'all, because the next chain of events literally causes for like a whole nother 40 minutes of <laughs> this video. And yeah, like if we don't stop the story time here, we're gonna be here all day. And then on top of that, I'm about to film another video for y'all right now. So I wanna stop the story time here, but y'all comment down below and y'all let me know what do you think Brittany said to rose that's what i want y'all to comment down below y'all already know i already told y'all that Brittany came and addressed me on how i'm working and i was working better than rose so you can only imagine what Brittany said to rose so y'all comment down below and y'all let me know what do y'all think Brittany said to rose or whatnot and yeah if y'all made it to this end of the video put it to the ending of this video put this emoji put this one right here especially considering the fact that it is fall put that emoji or whatnot so yeah y'all i love you guys so much and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye But yeah, they end up putting both of us on the register. Why would you? I bet y'all lost my train of thought. <laughs> Why would you lose your train of thought? <laughs> yeah. You like, I wasn't even striving to be the best, y'all. I didn't even care about being the best. I just had a good mouthpiece on me, and I still do. No, no. <laughs> Let me stop, let me stop. That's, that's disgusting. Don't, don't do that again. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. <laughs> like you're purposely doing shit. You know you're doing that shit on purpose, baby. <laughs>